What's up fam? Welcome again to Orkiza Garage. Today I'm working with 2001 Honda Civic Coupe EX. I'm replacing um, aftermarket uh, catalytic converter because this uh, Honda Civic doesn't have it just a straight pipe but it's not uh, it's not loud but it's still quiet so you know I cannot pass the smog without the uh, catalytic so I get the exhaust pipe too uh from the junkyard because what happened they cut this one they cut this they just uh welded so now i just wanted to get the oe spec all right let me just uh set up my camera and set up the car and we'll start working on it so i got the, the nut from the uh catalytic these are the part number so I get four nuts this is what it looks like but uh, the bolts it's a special bolts there are like $30 each so what I did is I go to Home Depot get a uh, flange bolt style right here so you know this is just only $5 for two pack or like $3 so here's our the size M10 by 1.25 by 35 millimeter the the length right here i think the length or the 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 size of that but that's the spec right here from home depot all right so what i'm gonna do set up now i already jack up the car and start removing the parts all right guys so now i just have to take this the uh, sensor the, the downstream sensor so I have to take it out this one and so it's more easier to take up the auto sensor right here all right oh what I did is they have the this the gap right here so you don't get a check engine or something okay so I ready to break it in. Take it off the auto sensor downstream. This is this is bad. I might get a new uh, auto sensor for that on the downstream. I'm gonna order online. And I don't have to take this one because I'm gonna replace the whole uh, catalytic. Now let's go in the front, take off the the downstream. Now let's go over there in the front, take it off the upstream. What I'm gonna do, put this one reconnect again, the downstream so I don't get confused. So I'll let this one hang over here and then come back with them later. Okay. Go into the upstream taking off that one i'm gonna take it off the connector upstairs so it's more easier i get off the connectors i take it off that one connectors take it off those two bolts and then take it off the exhaust all the way to the back okay so i think they're all they are all 12 12 millimeter Jeez. yeah they're all 12 okay save that save this one and then going to uh spray a lot of the uh brake no no the uh, pv blaster so it's more easier to take it up so now i'm gonna go to the back and then loosen up the two uh bolts too so this is like the two bolts that i have to take it off let us see let it get spray and then Take it off. Okay, right, so there are 12 mil. I hope you guys can see. 
see it. Take it off from the from the hanger, rubber hanger. because they are the whole thing so now I have to go to the front take the whole thing now this is the last piece I have to take it off some let me do 40 it's easier to take it off Here's the whole exhaust system. So, all right, guys, that's the old O2. I might just spray some uh, uh, car cleaner to make sure to clean up some of those gunk and then and then install it to the catalytic oh 
right, right here. I'm gonna install this one upstream. Buying the new catalytic, it comes with a plug. That one right here is upstream, and the size for that is 10 millimeter Allen socket right here. Okay. All right, so gonna install the upstream. So I'm just gonna tight this one later on once everything is on there. So now I'm gonna put the into gasket or the flange. So once you get the the new parts, it comes with this one and then the ring. That's the ring too. I get it from Rock Auto. It's California rated. So I'm gonna put the description below later on. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is hang, hang this one first from the hanger. It's more easier. Okay, do that. Steering is not that bad. Uh, the pump, you just like different points and stuff. Still the same. 11 piece. Uh, that's the uh, upstream. So you said you changed already. Yeah. So delete it and then drive it around. This is it's permanent. It's not pending. Yeah, but like, if it doesn't come back, it's good. And uh, on the driver's side, on the upper control arm, the the boot. So like it's the ball joints because there's the upper ball joint. Right. So the boot are maybe worn out. It's, it is and it is, but it's not that. You know. so that's not your CV axle. No, no. And then here's your CV axle. Uh, you still need your old one. Okay. Uh, you want your old parts? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah.
Okay right, guys, so this one is a little bit tricky. What I did, don't put pressure on these two bolts right here. Sorry, the glare. Two bolts, don't put pressure. And then once it gets traded in, that's where you put, that's where you got it. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So you have to do it evenly. So much better. And then do the hand tight. Alright guys, yeah, so the next one you have to get to the auto sensor. Yes. Um all we gotta do is tie the auto sensor, tighten them up. That one is all tight. Put it in here. Reconnect. Reconnect the O2. One right here. And then reconnect upstairs. Okay, reconnect. Okay, and then work it out from the bottom. Connect the downstream auto sensor. Forget to take up the plug. Oh, you mother. Okay, sorry I forgot to uh, show it to you. So basically, just uh, connect the downstream. Now, connect the connectors. I hear click. That is good to me. And then, I have to put it in the slot right here.
so now I'm gonna put the whole Connect the uh, catalytic to the pipe. So the ring, what I did is put some gasket maker, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't fall off. And they are thirteen. Okay. Oh, it's 14. Okay, guys, last part. Let's get this going. So, I want this one to pass the smog and start selling. Parts leave it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do? I'll put this one up here. There you go. And the nut, so I can see it.
should be good. Thank you guys. Alright, and then put everything back and it started. Yeah. Take it out. 